We're going to the hardwood. We had a game on the air Friday. It was kind of a rivalry weekend. We just showed you the hockey from Saturday, but on Friday night, boys basketball, Blaine and Centennial matching up, and Matt Ooh. Weifel starts hot with a three. A lot of threes in this game. Get used to it. Jason Call on the other end of the floor. His first make also a three. 6 oh. 3 Bengals early on. Splash. Here we go. Ricky Easton at the top. His entry pass stolen away by the Bengals, but he drops back nicely on defense. He'll steal it back. Easton now with a transition Jump. opportunity goes to the hoop and finishes. Nice play. Good for him. Good recovery. Timothy Williams driving kick leaves it out to Nathan Ahmet. He drops it in for three. Six off the bench for Ahmet. Blaine up 29 14 at halftime. Cougars finding the open man, but they're missing shots. That one doesn't go for Larson, but he recovers the ball. Now Eason again drives, gives to Fenstermacher. Oh. That doesn't go. So Van Busker's had enough. Just grab the ball, put it up. Oh. Riley Van Busker nailing the jumper. There we go. Patrick Peralt looks at his options, skips it to the corner. Williams gives it back to Peralt. Top of the key three, knocks it down. Six off the bench for Peralt. Late in the game, Tony Strand finding an open call. He hits the three, 19 points. At that point, he wasn't done. Whoa. There was more to come. Richard Hemrick on the drive, hands off to Fenstermacher. He gets two of his four points on the night. Another take and make for Jason Call from distance. There it is. That wraps up his scoring. Game high 22 points on the night. All right, here we go. Steal, streak, score. Ben Busker, two of his 13 points on the night. Blaine up big late, and the coaches go deeper into the bench. Sophomore Evan Walsh. Looking at his options, calls his own number. He actually had four points. He's part of the regular rotation, but the defense not quite as stiff with some of the guys out on the floor. You know who else found that out? Gabrielle Hicks stall. Able to drive to the hoop. Floats that one in. First varsity points of the season. Oh. Bengals win 67 38. That's huge. Um, just like our bench guys are, are really great, giving us energy on the defensive end, and then we don't feel like we drop any when we put our bench players in. And so, um, yeah, our starters get us a good, a great start, and then our, we have a lot of confidence in our guys to keep up the energy. And so that's one big thing uh, that we have that other teams don't is just really, really good depth. And so that's I think uh, going to take us far when we really we can go as hard as we want, and then we know that when we put our put our bench guys in, that they're going to give us something too. So four wins in a row. Nine of your last ten. I mean, tell me how the feel, the, the feel of the team is right now, the confidence level. Yeah, we're really confident going into sections. Um, I mean, we've got a goal of 20 wins in our regular season right now, and so we're really, really going hard on that. But really just every single day at practice, um, our JV guys are doing a really good job as well in practice, and we're just really confident going into every game thinking that we're the better team, and we just play really, really well together. Like, our guys have been playing together for, for super long, and so we're really excited our senior season. We're, we're playing really well, and we're excited to go into sections looking like a really great team. Do you think he was talking down to me? Uh, well, wasn't talking up to you. No, he is much taller than I am. 67-38 Bengals get the win, as I mentioned during the interview. They've won nine of their last 10 and four consecutive games. Hats off to the Bengals. There you can see some wins in a row for them. Opposite story for Centennial, unfortunately, yeah. for the Cougars, and a mixed bag for the Panthers. Blake Remy, though. Yeah. Nice job Remy. over those last three games, dropping 30 on Park Center, and they almost beat Park Center. Almost. One of the best teams in the entire state, and they play them to a one-point game. Outstanding showing for Spring Lake Park. 14 and 10 overall are the Panthers. All our cap teams above 500 could make some waves in the section tournament that's right around the corner.